It is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. It's 9.25 a.m. First, let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And Father, in Jesus' name, I have from Luke chapter 11, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who are indebted to us. And I pray also in Jesus' name, Father, and I ask to, for the gifts of the Spirit, for the fruit of the Spirit, and for that I, that I may... That I may bear fruit of the Spirit, Father. Help me to gain a deeper understanding of your word. And help me to understand what I can do to bring people to you, Father. I want to help people. I want to, I want to rescue the little children from their abusers. I want to go into jails and prisons and set the captives free from bondage. Because I know, Father, I know, Father, that, that your spirit in the blink of an eye can do these things for people. And I believe that I'm being forged in fire. That I may, that once I'm out of this prison that I'm in, that, that you are going to move through me to do these things. And I understand what the Bible says about women preaching in church and that women need to be in submission and women need to stay quiet and those kinds of things. And I want you to move me only where I need to be moved, Father. But th there are some places where it needs a woman. There are some prisons where there are young men and old men and where they need to see a woman that comes in with your spirit glowing, that shows them love, and compassion. And tells them that, that you love them father. Because this world is rough. And I believe that you. That you are preparing me. For the day that is to come. Thank you father in Jesus name. Amen. Okay so we're on. Uh, Colossians chapter 4. Okay. Masters, give unto your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving, with all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance <laughs> to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also <laughs> in bonds. Hallelujah. Hambahe. Hambahe. This is a powerful word here. And I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, for for, for this. I'm going to start over Colossians chapter 4. And I ask, Father, that your spirit flow through this as I read this. That people may hear what you're saying. They may see what you're saying. Fill us with your spirit. In Jesus' name. Okay. We're starting over. Colossians chapter 4. Masters, give unto your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving, with all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bonds. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. All my, <laughs> all my state that Tychius declare unto you, who is a beloved brother and a faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that he might know your estate and comfort your hearts. 
Thank you, Jesus. With uh, with Ones Ones Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you, they shall make known unto you all things which are done here. Ar Aristarchus, Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, saluteth you, and Marcus, sister son to <laughs> sister son to Barnabas, touching whom ye receive receive commandments, if he come unto you, receive him. And Jesus, which is called Justice, who are <laughs> who are of the circumcision, these are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of God, which have been a comfort unto me. Epaphras, which is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluteth you, always laboring fervently for you for you in prayers, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him record that he hath a great zeal for you and them that are in Laodicea and help them in Heropolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea and Nymphos and the church which is in this, which is in his house. And when this epistle is read among you, Cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and that ye likewise read the epistle from Laodicea, and say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. The salutation by the hand of me, Paul, remember my bonds, grace be with you, amen. Written from Rome to Colossians by Tychius and Onesimus. Thank you, Jesus.